Today we're doing the king pole 1v1 v1 take, challenge. Take it all the way, take it all the way. Oh, oh. Guys, when you, when you cast a king pole, it's more or less like a motion thing. I like to think of it as like a harder version of fly fishing. Yeah, this isn't going good right now. Howdy folks, welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. In today's video, we are doing a 1v1 v1 challenge. We're bringing it back. This time, you guys have requested, you hit the like goal, the cane pole fishing challenge. We got three boys here, myself, the returning guests, Fishing Way Yak Pack, and Devin. By the way, guys, we're on the road 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So hit the subscribe button and maybe, just maybe, we're bringing you guys daily videos in May. Uh, just a little secret. It might be happening. It might not be. Just stay tuned for that. Yeah, we got to go inside, buy these cane poles. I'm extremely terrified because for those of you guys who don't know what cane poles are, they extend and you put the line in the water, but you can't really cast them. And we're trying to catch big fish. Biggest fish wins today's challenge. My first fish I ever caught was off a of cane pole, by the way, guys. It was a little bluegill. This challenge holds a special place in my heart. So I think we'll be able to catch fish. It's just who's going to catch the biggest today. We got the scale. We're good to go. Let's go inside. All right, guys, we are here in Walmart. I'm going to try to keep my voice down because there's a dude who works here who does not like me at all. But we're here for cane poles. So let's go ahead and find those. I hope they have them. I think they do. I've never actually fished with a cane pole here on the Fishing Norm channel before. They got cane poles? I don't know. This is not going to be a good start if we just can't find cane poles. I could have swore you showed me they were on like that all one time. What, like two years ago? Yo, Devin, you find anything? No, I didn't see anything. What about the other side? <laughs> <laughs> you found them? Yeah. Oh, I was about to say, no way are we driving 30 minutes to go find a cane pole. How did you even find this? All right, well, I guess you guys go ahead and choose. I think they're all the same. You think? They, wait, these are 20, these are seven, and these are 11, so they gotta be different. Well, I want the $20 one. <laughs> I'll get the thickest one. <laughs> I'm leaving that one alone. <laughs> okay, so now we need lures for these. We can pick out our own baits, or we can pick baits for each other. Me and you get to choose what Devin throws on his, and then you and Devin get to choose what I have to throw on mine. We're doing it that way. Yeah. Doing right, it that way. <laughs> Me and Devin are gonna pick out the lure that Yak Pack has to use right now. I don't know if I wanna be nice to him, if I wanna be mean. We'll have to see here, because it is the biggest fish wins, so we gotta keep that in mind. I was standing right <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, I want us to catch fish in this video so we can make this and bring it to you guys. But I also think this would be hysterical. So I'm choosing this for Yak Pack. Here you go. This uh, is going to okay. be great. Gonna we'll just wing it. We're good at winging it, and that's what we're going to do today. We might as well test this out to make sure that just a pole that keeps on giving. <laughs> they used to call me Frisky Frog, 2007, junior year of high school. So uh, good luck with this. I'm, I'm actually game with that. That's tiny. There's no species in this challenge. Oh, so. I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, you actually just gave me that. <laughs> I, didn't about that. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Shad pole. The shad pole <laughs> for your cane pole. I guess I just got <laughs> frog species today, guys. We got the baby frogs, which are tadpoles, and then we have actual frogs. And then Yak Pack has an actual topwater frog. I'm gonna make up the rule right now. If you catch a fish on a topwater frog, you instantly win, no matter how big it instantly? is. Instantly? Instantly. You know how good I am. You shouldn't have done it. Alright, we gotta pick out Devin's lures now. <laughs> do it, do it, grab it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, y'all are laughing, but this is gonna slay. Emerald minnows, guys. The actual problem is we need somebody to catch a fish in this video. We can't all scum. Alright, guys, we have our cane poles. All the lures we're gonna be using today, we will see you guys at the pond to get this challenge started. All right, we're rigging up. You guys wanna raise the stakes today. We got an hour to get the biggest one. Do we wanna put a little wager behind it? I think we're all up on doggy coin. So I'm down to put a thousand doge coin on the table. So that's like 250 bucks right yeah, now. Yeah, something like right? give or take, so yeah. Enough to get our competitive juices flowing. Or they made this thing <laughs> child proof. You got it, you got it, man. soon. <laughs> No, no. Right, you're not talent. serious right now. Never in my life have I opened a frog and had this happen. I don't even know what I'm doing. Look, I just ruined this whole thing. Guys, these things are 13 foot long. It's really called the crappie pole. So guys, all you do with the cane pole is you take one end of the line and you tie it right around the tip. It won't go down, dude. I don't have that problem. <laughs> I'm trying to explain this. We have a bobber. From the bobber goes a split shot. This is how all of our rods and reels came. And then there we got a tiny hook. So I didn't even have to buy micro hooks. And I think what I'm going to start with, the frisky frog. I'm really glad it came with like a bobber and weights because like we completely did not think of that. Oh, I forgot you have live or live dead fish. Uh. <laughs> Dude, so. <laughs> <laughs> Tell if you, you yank your PV. I promise you, you'll never hear the end of it if I catch it. <laughs> I'll be the best fisherman in the entire United States. All right, guys, we are at the sauce pond. Our one hour fishing challenge. Hook in my shorts starts now. First cast, lines in. We're good to go. Ow. That didn't make fun. Mine hit the camera, man. So guys, I've been cane pole fishing since I was like eight years old. So I have some experience here, even though I haven't whipped out the old cane pole in probably what seems to be two or three years. I'm pretty confident that I could maybe take the dub today. I really like my lure selection. I got the little tiny frogs. Actually, the first fish I ever caught was a bluegill on a cane pole. It ended up being my pet fish for like years in my fish tank right by my bed. I got to start fishing because these boys got their lines in the water. I got to wet the old frisky frog and get bassin. 
Let's go. My tactic? Oh, uh, shoots. Let's see. Uh, I'm thinking about putting my lure in the water and hopefully ah. catching a fish. Not, not doing that. I just hooked my finger. Yeah, this isn't going good right now. Yo, how do you cast this thing though, yeah. for real? Quick. <laughs> Guys, when you, when you cast a cane pole, it's more or less like a motion thing. I like to think of it as like a harder version of fly fishing. You let the line out back here, and you just kind of... Just like that, just whip it, you know? It actually casts less far than the rocket fishing combos. Guys, I surprise myself every day. This one's not in a good way. You gotta pull your shorts up a little bit, oh, right? Okay. Skies out, thighs out, you know? You gain a wide stance, toes facing out just in case. And then you, you gotta get it going. <laughs> Just like that. I created that technique and uh, 66, so I had trouble casting my cane pole. So I was like, you know what? I just created a new technique and here we are, you know? Well, we have kind of a frog. Norm kind of hooked us up and created a popping slash underwater deep diving top water frog. Let's see how that works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are dipping from the main group. We're going to the other side of the pond. As I like to do in these challenges, I like to get some of my own ground. Right now, we're five minutes into this thing, and uh, so far, Devin sees a fish on a bed. I left him to it, though, because we're doing the biggest fish today, and that fish only looks to be a pound. So I'm gonna go try to find a, uh, a bigger bass. I do not want to lose on my own challenge. I've won two of the three so far. We're gonna try to make it three of four in today's video. Guys, this fish on this bed just tried to eat my little minnow, but there's like a hundred other little minnows right here on his bed, so I'm pretty sure he wants that more. The other guys haven't caught anything yet, so that's all we need currently. I think the best part about this is listening to Norm commentate across the pond. He says, ow, every other word. Guys, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna put on one of these little finesse worms. He is not about the bobber action, so hopefully we can come with a smaller profile and just annoy him until he bites it. Guys, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna bite most of this off since he's just nibbling it. See if I can get him to bite just on the hook. That made this thing way harder to cast. Oh my God, I was so close to having him. Oh. All right, that was the move, that was the move. He is not happy right now. Take it, take it, take it all the way, take it all the way. Got him, let's go. No, come back, come back. No, <laughs> let's go guys. Got a little, not even a pound on him. Working on him for, what was that, 30 minutes already? I don't think anybody else has gotten one, so that means I'm winning right now, but these boys are good fishermen, so I gotta step my game up and get a bigger one. All right guys, we gotta get him back in the water. Get him back on his bed. Give him a little toss of Rooski. Let's go. Ow, my, I hooked my finger. Oh, guys, there's so many tiny fish right here, like so tiny, but it would get me on the board. And luckily I have a small lure. Like half of these are not even bass. They're just like tiny brim and bluegill. <laughs> Jeez, we're, we're about to go wade fishing, boys. I'm eating Devin out here. There's a deep pocket out here and it is uh, getting close to summer fishing time. And normally those fish go deep in the summer. So I'm gonna put all my stuff, that's all my valuables on the bank. Oh man, this is so sketchy. <laughs> Mighty fine. Oh, it's kind of cold. Oh, bro, it's deep. <sighs> Guys, we are out here waiting with cane poles. I did not think that it would end up like this, but uh, Yak Pack has chose to stay on the bank. Devin and I have now made our move into the water, searching for a big bass today. This is right where the drop off is, guys. This is right where we should probably get bit if we do. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, I feel like this little frisky frog should at least get like a bluegill or something. Oh, something just swam like right in front of my face. Bro, I can't believe nothing. Oh, oh. I was literally just about to say, I can't believe nothing's ate that net rig yet. <laughs> you just get hit. It gets deep on both sides of this, so there could be big bass on either side. Like literally 10 steps forward is where uh, Josh got the eight and a half pounder on a live bluegill. It was crazy, bro. There's big ones in here. If we catch one on the cane pole, I'm gonna go nuts. Ah, I shut the hook of my finger. What do I, I feel like I'm fly fishing right now and I've never even been fly fishing. Is Jackpack even wearing pants? Guys, Jackpack is currently naked. I don't know if in this challenge he decided it was a uh, sunbathing time, but I, maybe Jackpack decided the cane pole challenge was too hard. Oh, we're just gonna do this, the figure eight technique. We're just swimming this thing around my body. All right, fish, you wanna play this game? We'll catch you. Oh, my bobber, my bobber. How do I get him to me? How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh my, oh, it's a bass, it's a bass. <laughs> Come here, buddy. 
I'm just gonna throw my rod down. We gotta grab him, guys. On the frisky frog. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Please. Yes, dude. <laughs> guys, look at that. On the tiny frisky frog. We are now in the lead, guys. We literally have, well, technically, we probably have ran out of time, but we're gonna give it another 10 minutes because it seems like we might have just found the sauce. Beautiful bass. Go ahead and let her go. See you, girl. She was ready to go, guys. A freaking frisky frog, man. Craziness. All right, guys, it's been like 15 minutes since that last fish catch, and nothing has happened yet, but Devin and I have decided that next fish wins. Doesn't matter how big, how small, what species. It has been over an hour now, and we are only tied one-to-one. -one. Yak Pack shirt is currently off. He is getting a tan. He said the cane pole challenge was too hard, so it is just Devin and I left in this challenge. Next fish takes the knob. I'm really excited to fish some of this stuff up here, Devin, because this is where I have caught the eight pounder was right there about 20 yards to the right of you. There does tend to be a ton of fish that hang out like literally right over here too on this deep drop off. Uh. Oh, 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 I am recording. <laughs> Guys, I just got smacked top water. And Devin was like, yo, you recording? Cause it's been literally 26 minutes on my GoPro since we last talked. And um, I just got smacked and I think he's hooked. Oh, dude, this is a game winner right here. Oh, no. oh he's big too. Yes. Not again. Yes. All right, I gotta, go. I gotta start grabbing the line. I can't flip him cause we're not in the bank. Oh, be careful, dude, be careful. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude, he's swimming in between <laughs> my legs, bro. Dude, the bobber's under my my uh, credit card swiper. Where is? Where'd he go? All right, here, here. You take this. You take this. Um. Oh gosh, man, I'm all tangled up. He's under my butt. Oh, he just. Oh, he's on my foot. Hold up, hold up. I don't want to hook myself. Oh my gosh. Yo, is he still on there? Yes, yes. Oh, dude. Look at that, guys. Freaking frisky frog, man. That was a sick bite. Dude. That was <laughs> he, a sick bite. He, I don't know how long he had it, because to be completely honest, I was zoned out. I just I just heard him jump and I was like, hmm. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that's that's a game winner for sure. Game winner, guys. The Yak Pack is I don't know how well you can see him on the GoPro, but he's uh, shirtless getting a sun bathe right now. Guys, of course. So one day I'm like, yeah, we got the scale. Um, here we go wade fishing and I don't want to ruin it, but, um, beautiful bass to take the tourney dub. If you guys are not subscribed, subscribe already. We're catching one and a half pounders on freaking cane poles, man. We would love to catch an eight, but, uh, for this challenge and a tough day, I will take it. All right, Devin, there we go. Challenge complete. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm tired of losing you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs>